Oh, hello there. And how are you doing today? Oh, I'm glad to hear it. And so am I. This is week 38 of quarantine and lockdown. Can you believe that? 38 weeks, no parole in sight. Woe is me. Oh, well, not to worry. I've got plenty to occupy myself here, so I'm not going to be bored. Now, the simulator is moving along. I've got all of this. The simulator has been moved. It's in position. I've got everything pretty much screwed down. And I've also removed some of the side parts because I want to do a little bit of a redesign there. Let me show you here. Here you can see the simulator as it is now. Lots of screws and tools still about, I know that. Here you can see the side panels. I've moved part of the armrest away. I'm going to redesign that to make it a little bit more streamlined. And here you can see the front end or the back end, whichever you want, uh, where all the wiring is at. So the simulator, the hardware is all there, all of the connections are in and ready to be plugged in, but I'm still in the process of programming, putting in all of the software. That is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Now, here's Flight 2 computer. It's just got Windows 10 on it at the moment. I haven't even put P3D into it or any of the other scenery, it will have to be fully loaded and everything will have to mirror what goes on to Flight 1. And this is Flight 1. Now Flight 1 is the one that's going to actually run all the hardware. So I'm not worried about graphics in this. I don't care about frame rates on this one because it's all going to be just running the instrumentation and making sure that when I push a button, something happens. Hopefully, what is expected. <laughs> but here's where the problem has been. It's been putting in all of the airport scenery. Now, a lot of this I've already had upgraded to version 5, but I've noticed something, and perhaps some of you have noticed it too, that the sceneries don't always get added into the scenery configuration file when you're doing the installation. And I didn't catch that at the beginning, but I did after a bit. So it meant that I had to go in and actually manually add every one of the sceneries. And then there was a problem with some of the sceneries. Some of them, well, one airport, I had the aeroplane that was actually parked underneath the tarmac. So that wasn't too well. It was a version 4 and it's going to not be used obviously in this one, but the manufacturers are upgrading it eventually. So I've been going down now to the laborious process of installing a scenery, then going in and checking that the add-on is in the configuration file. And I've been using the add-on organizer. The add-on organizer comes from Law BC. I'll give you a link to that. Anyway, that has been invaluable for me to be able to then manually check or manually add each of the scenery files. Then, I have to open up P3D and go to that particular airport to make sure that the, well, that the airport is actually where it's supposed to be. 
if I choose stand 10, it's actually at stand 10 and not in some bush somewhere. I also have to make sure that the airport aircraft is actually sitting on the ground and not under it or floating above it. There's a lot of things like that. I had to check every one of these. I've got 162 airport sceneries to install. So naturally, this is going slower than I thought it would. But I'm plugging along. I'm getting there, slowly but surely. At the minute, I'm up to Krasnodar. I'm in the Ks. I've already got all of the UK 2000 sceneries installed. I've got a lot of the other sceneries, like the Latin VFR sceneries, got the, all those airports installed. Now I'm going through all the individual ones and one by one, I install, I check the configuration file to make sure the scenery is registered. If not, I have to manually add it. Then I go into P3D, go to the airport and check that it's working. Ah oh, well, and there's just little old me. So, sorry it's not done yet, but I'm working on it. It's slow, tedious, and I'm making notes as I go along. So I'm writing everything down so that when it comes time to program flight two, that will go a lot faster because I'm learning from all my mistakes on flight one. Make sense? Good. Right, just a short update. I hope that you're keeping well. I am too. And I will see you on the next quarantine update. Take care. Be safe. Bye.